Welcome back to Debris Day. Today on Debris Day, we're going to do a myth or fact. So you probably can't see behind me, but there's lots of flies flying around our kitchen. At the back door and front door, they seem to be collecting, and I don't know why. But I've seen on the internet that if you have a uh, clear plastic bag with some foil or some coins in the bottom of it, and you hang them up, it's meant to reduce, if not stop, the flies in your, in your house. So, Mini Dubes and I are going to do a couple of these bag things, I'll show you how we do those, hang them up and see if it actually makes a difference. So, is it truth? Or is it a fallacy? Let's have a look. Okay guys, let me show you what we've got for um, the items to make these bags. We've got some uh, standard kitchen foil. We use this on the, the foil balls, which I'll post up here. We've got some uh, Ziploc bags. And we've got some gaffer tape. And that's all we need. We don't need anything more than that. Maybe some twine just to hold it up. So um, I'm gonna start making, ripping up some foil, put them in the bags. And then once it's in the bags, um, put some water in, and then I'm gonna tie them up and hang them outside the back door and front door and see what happens. Let's go. Okay, let's start with the foil. I'm gonna take, I don't know, that amount of foil, which is not a lot, chop it up a little bit. I think that'll probably be enough. Pop it into the Ziploc bag. And I'll do it on the other one as well. And then I'm gonna get the hose and fill these up with water. Hi guys, so we're gonna do this in two ways. Uh, we've recorded this once already and realized that the camera couldn't see us. So uh, we're gonna redo it. Now I'm going for the just t uh, tin foil just chucked in the bottom of the bag method. Let's see if that works. And Mrs. Doob, she uh, popped off and she went and got us a couple of stones and she wrapped the foil around the stones. And um, I'll just show you that. So she's wrapped the foil around them so they sink to the bottom. Pop those in there. We're going to fill them with water and then we're going to use this twine and we're going to tie them up, which I'll show you in a moment, onto the back of the house. Let's fill up with water. And there's a chicken down there which you probably can't see, it's off camera. Hello chick! I just asked Mrs. Deeb to come and tie this one up. There we go, and I'll just, just get rid of the air out of it. We'll show you what these look like once we've tied them up. That's like that, and I'll just fill this one up. The boy has put the in a special place. Okay. Okay. When you um, put the tape over to seal it in, I suggest you also tape the, the string onto the bag because otherwise when things get hot and the plastic gets soft in the sunshine, it might okay. lose its grip. What I was thinking is doing a couple of holes, mm -hmm. filling near the top so the string can go through, then we can tape it onto there like you've suggested. So the bags, look at this at the moment, this is my bag. As you can see, the foil's in the top, it's meant to reflect in the sunshine. And Mr. Dudes will show you hers in a moment. I think we should have done this with coins though. Well, we'll try with foil. If it doesn't work, this is like a, a fact or fiction type video. If it doesn't myth work. Buster. I'm a myth buster. I am a myth buster. You're a Facebook circulation. Well, you see these videos on the internet. Buster. and Hacks. And you know, do you believe them? Some of them I'm like, yeah, right, I don't believe them. So I guess the only way to find it for yourself is to do it yourself. Hence, wanting to do this. Right, should I put a bit of tape on there as well? Mm -hmm. Please, can you seal that in a little bit? This way? Yeah. And do around. And around. And around. Gaffer tape. I didn't use my Galaxy duct tape. We, we didn't use the Galaxy duct tape. <laughs> Taping my nails into it. 
It doesn't look pretty. Go and show the camera, Mrs. Dews, what you've done. What have you done? What have I done? There you go. So, Mrs. Dews is going to hang that, although she won't be able to reach because Mrs. Dews is quite short, as we all know. Actually, this is like the worst fun fair prize ever. So what we'll do, we'll bring the camera. If you could get the camera, Mrs. Deeps. I will. And we'll hang this near the back door. Excuse the mess, we're doing gardening at the moment. And we'll give it a try. We'll put it on here. Uh, should we just go there? I don't know how high up it's supposed to I've go. I've got no idea. Let's just try it there. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully your dad would be happy with that knot. Rest his cell. Rest his cell, yep. And we'll give that a try. I'll do one around the front as well and then we will genuinely let you know in the next, we'll give it a week and we'll make a decision whether it actually improves the situation. We can hang one in the chicken coop as well. That's actually a really good idea. Mm, let's um, see if it works. So this is the front of our house. Um, here is the second one. So this is my one with the uh, with the forward inside of it. As you can see it's glittering away. Um, we're going to do one for the chicken coop which is over here. We'll do one in there in a moment for the chicken coop and see if that helps for the chickens. And, and we'll report back to you in a week's time. Thanks guys, see you soon. One week later. Hi guys, so we've had the, uh, the bags hanging outside to try and distract the flies from coming to the house for about a week now. Uh, let me take you outside and let's find out whether it's worked or not. I don't know if you can see all of the uh, <laughs> The many, many, many flies that are outside. Um, there's the bag there. But to say that it hasn't worked is an understatement. There's flies everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Um, there's probably more flies than there were. So, I'm saying that it doesn't work so don't try and do one of these bags with the shiny stuff in it your house looks a bit silly um and we've got more flies than we've ever had um anyway thanks ever so much for watching and see you next week on tubri's day see you later guys bye for now